Okay, guys, last video before I leave for Christmas. I will be out until January 1st. I take Christmas to New Year's every year to recalibrate, focus on our vision for 2020 to deliver you guys the best product and service in the industry. So let's talk about another property today. This is going to be, oops, let's go to the front page here. From the website, jameswalkup.com, once you've logged in, you see all the properties. Today we're talking about 502 Charter Avenue in the Whitehaven area. This house is only $70,000 and has a whopping cash on cash return of 16.26%. So big cash on cash return, full renovation, no trees overhanging the property. This is our bread and butter. When you click on the picture of any house, so click on the picture of any house, it's gonna open up what I call the diligence vault. And this vault was created to give an informed investor everything they would need to make a decision whether this fits their portfolio or not. So we'll start with the pro forma. The pro forma is generated to give you a, a financial snapshot of what you're buying. Sales price, 70,000. Rental price, 765 a month beating that 1% rule that so many people are searching for and it's harder and harder to find nationwide. We're still delivering it here in 2020, who knows? It might not exist anymore, but we've got it now. So in the bottom right-hand corner, this lists out all of your expenses. Vacancy, future repairs, property management for foundation property management to manage this property for you moving forward. Uncle Sam's gonna get his money, so property taxes, hazard insurance in case the house would have burned down and then uh, principal and interest, your debt payment to the bank. That would leave us with a net operating income annually of $6,300. The cash it would take you to purchase this house, if you're taking advantage of leverage, it takes 20% of the purchase price and closing costs. So in this property, it's gonna cost you $18,000 out of pocket to purchase the house. We divide your net operating income into that amount and it gives us our cash on cash return. That's an easy explanation of what we're talking about with cash on cash return. You guys that are paying cash, 35% of my homes are being sold cash. This is a 9% net return for you annually if rents never go up. Next thing I wanna point out in the diligence vault is a crime map. A lot of people would not put this in their information to their investors, why? It's painting a very transparent picture of what you're buying. This is a C-class C property. So of course it's gonna be speckled with more crime than a B plus or an A property. So C-class areas have a higher risk, higher reward attached to them, that 15% cash on cash return. I'm not finding in the B and A-class neighborhoods. But overwhelmingly, you guys are asking me for these higher returns, a little bit more risk going into some C-class areas but we are specifically targeting C-class areas that have good street appeal. We don't have houses boarded up around them that we know tenants are asking to live in is a big point. Whitehaven is on fire for homeowners. I'm building houses down there with a builder right now. We're selling them uh, average sales price 200,000 plus and we can't build them fast enough. So it's a great area. This house is much older of course than the new construction and it doesn't compare to those but a great area conveniently located to all the major employers, downtown Memphis, it hits a lot of the hot buttons. The scope of work is impressive on this house and most of them. Bottom right hand corner, this is where my eyes go first. All mechanicals are new, the HVAC, the water heater, the plumbing, the furnace, everything's new in this house, your big ticket items. So it's a all brick structure, low, low maintenance, dig into this scope of work that I provide for you. This becomes part of the paperwork that you sign to purchase the house. Therefore, when the home is completed renovation and your home inspection, third, third party home inspector comes out to evaluate the property for you, they better find something on their home inspection report or they didn't earn their nearly $300, right? And those things will be addressed quickly and we'll move on. Uh, but he's also looking for everything that we said we're going to replace in the house that that's done for you. So this is an important piece of the paperwork. So evaluate this on every property you're you know, considering purchasing that you do purchase. This is where the uh, buck stops right here, knowing the roof's new, the mechanicals are new, hard surface floors in what areas, all those things. Our goal here is to paint the most transparent picture available. Many of you people, uh, investors are thousands of miles away and you need a transparent look into what you're considering buying. 
So the, this is a very important part of the diligence vault. I've got an entire folder in each diligence vault uh, for comparable sales, specifically for that reason. And in there, you're gonna find this nice report, which is very similar to what an appraiser is gonna uh, pull when they appraise your home. They're gonna look for houses in the same vicinity. So as you see here, the first two comparable sales are within a pitching wedge. And the third sale is a nine iron or maybe a five iron for me uh, from the house. So they're very close to the subject property, which is why the S with a black circle, that's the house we're talking about here on charter. And then comparable sale number one, two, and three. First, you wanna check vicinity. Then you wanna check the square footage, all in the same square footage range and age range. If those three things align, then they can be counted as a comparable sale. So as you'll see here, the average sales price uh, per square foot, $71, which fully aligns with our asking price on this property. We're gonna give you our three preferred lenders. This house will go out this week. We will have multiple people asking to purchase it. As any seller, um, we're gonna take the best offer. Of course, we don't take lower offers on the houses price-wise, but what makes the best offer? Using a preferred lender, definitely on the top of the list. Why that helps? Because they work with us, they might as well have an office in my office. Once a week, I do a pipeline review call with all of my lenders, all of my attorneys, and having limited number of lenders, limited number of attorneys, limited number of roofers and landscapers, makes my process work efficiently. Therefore, I can spend my time where it's most valuable for you, which is out finding more properties like this that are gonna offer full renovation and huge cash flow. Rento meter. This is where we find comparable rents, com like comparable sales for your property. This is a, one of the th uh, few third party sources that we use to be able to say we are confident on our target rent. So on this property, we are targeting a rent of 765. And here it shows that that is the median rent that we could be asking. So some people might say, well, James, why don't you go for more? Go for the 800 and go for the 810 on rent here. Look guys, I'd rather find you a tenant that's willing to sign a long-term lease, take better care of this property and pay a fair market rent than I would to get an extra $25 as an investor myself. And that's why I deliver it to you guys. I, I deliver you products as if I own them myself. I manage them as if I own them myself. So I plan on getting multiple uh, inquiries, people wanting to rent this property, and we're gonna get to pick and choose who has the best credit score. That's not the only determining factor. Income, with debt to income he heavily weighted. What does that mean? So a lot of people say if you get three times, if you make three times the rent, you're in. Well, let's look at your car payment, credit cards, outstanding balances. I wanna make sure that the renter can afford this house when old Murphy comes along, and we all know Murphy's Law, the car breaks down, we have a flat tire, it's hard to pay rent that month. So I want you to have some cushion, Mr. Renter, Mr. Tenant, if um, you're renting one of our houses. This is gonna cut down on evictions, get better people in your house, taking better care of the property. Um, I wanna show you Rentometer. So this is a free tool. Of course, I have the pro subscription, as you can see here. You don't need to buy the pro subscription, although it is affordable. Any property you're looking at nationwide, just type in the address, and it'll start to populate, there it is, and click Analyze Property. If you don't have the pro membership, it'll still give you some data. Uh, since I have the pro membership, I'll just create the PDF, put it in your diligence vault so you have all the information that I have available from all the sources that I'm able to obtain information for you. Let's talk about foundation property management. Our motto here is that I manage these properties as if I owned them myself. What's a good example? A uh, tenant flushed a GI Joe down the toilet. Uh, we don't send out a plumber first because plumbers walking into a house started hundred plus dollars. You know, send somebody from my team out, evaluate the situation. Okay, so this toilet needs to be snaked. I'm not sure why, but it's not uh, flushing properly. Call out the plumber. If we find out there's a GI Joe in the toilet, we're charging the tenant. We're not charging you, the investor. So many property managers take the easy way out which is, oh, just put that bill to the owner, um, let them figure it out. If I own that property myself, if these other property managers um, across the nation own that property themselves, do you think they're gonna pay for that out of their pocket? Absolutely not. So we're gonna put that back on the tenant, slap them on the wrist, 
they're going to pay that $150 uh, plumber bill. And you know what? We don't want to put that onto them one month. That might be too much. Maybe we'll split it up over eight payments. We want to be fair, but firm with our tenants and our owners, of course. So from the site, you have the main page, but if you click on this button that says rentals, you'll be able to see the rentals that we have available, how we market them from this website. They are pushed out to Zillow and apartments.com and a, a myriad of places where people find our houses online. We also have a core group of realtors and other people in Memphis that come to us when they have a house to rent. We shoot out email blasts to them weekly showing uh, different properties that we have available for rent. Many of our uh, people are building a house and need a house to rent for a year, or they have somebody move into town to work for FedEx or St. Jude, and they need a place. Uh, one of the properties we purchased recently at Sea Isle, it's a $21.50 a month rental. And most people would think, wow, that's a really nice neighborhood. Wouldn't have thought that would go as a rental. Overwhelmingly, we're getting huge feedback of people wanting to rent this property because there's nothing of this quality for rent. So across the spectrum from charter renting at $765 a month to this house running at $2150, overwhelming interest from our tenants. And here's why because we're offering clean and safe places to rent. Overwhelmingly, the Memphis market of rental properties, it is pitiful what people are trying to rent. The houses smell like cigarette smoke or wet dog. They've got old roofs and window units, not even central heat and air. And they're asking the same amount of rent we're asking. So when some people would say, James, don't you think the Memphis market is getting a bit absorbed with too many rentals? I would say, we have too many rentals in Memphis. Luckily, the type of product we're providing is an anomaly. There are not many safe and clean places that you would live in yourself. And who's asking a single mom raising three kids, working at FedEx and maybe a second job to come rent a $700 a month house that smells, right? So we stand out amongst that mediocrity, which is the average landlord, the average investor. We want to be a catalyst to help you achieve your goals in 2020. Thank you for a great 2019. A like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Sometimes these never even make it out via email. So if you want first inside scoop of our properties, the best way you can do that is to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Big announcements coming for 2020. Of course, we're going to have our international cooking contest for barbecue event. So 50 plus investors will be here second week of May. We'll have a short day of training. Then we'll get on the tour bus, head down to the mighty Mississippi where we'll have hundreds of teams competing. We'll have a tent dedicated to our team only where we will wine and dine you and you'll get to see the best of Memphis. The next day we'll get on a tour bus, we'll head out and we'll go looking at properties. We'll see new construction. Wow, that's exciting. We'll see multifamily. We will see houses under renovation and everybody loves seeing the house before we renovate it. So we'll see some of those too. I'll show you the areas that we believe in. We'll show you the areas we stay away from and why. It'll be a great week of education for you guys. Put it on your calendar, second week of May. You'll have more information coming your way starting in January. So you've got now till, till May to pick your seat. They do fill up quickly. Reach out to me and the team if you have questions. Thank you so much for your support. And let's make 2020 great for everyone. Thanks.